Hi everybody, it's KJ of Metro Hobbies and I'm clearly at my home, um, like most of you um, during these trying times, but there's something that we need to do in order to help us get through that and that's relax. Um, play is just as important for adults as it is for children and Lego understands this more than anybody as it started really genuinely producing sets that are designed for adults um, that help with mindfulness, relaxation and generally just smiling which is what's something we really need to do. Um, many of you probably have seen the tree ha Lego Treehouse, we all we sell out of this all the time because it's incredibly popular, um, obviously because of the detail, um, but today it's not what I'm talking about. Today I'm talking about something that was designed deliberately for adults. Um, it's taking Lego and craft and mixing them, and it's called Lego Art, which you may have come across. Um, they've got three main ones. They've got the Sith, which is a Star Wars of Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, and Darth Maul. There is Marilyn, or Wal Wal Andy Warhol's Marilyn, so Andy Warhol gave us Campbell's Soup. It's a very iconic art artist, and the Marilyn um, version is also very iconic. And then there's the Beatles, also iconic. Now these sets don't just come with the mosaic that you build yourself, it also comes with um, audio. So you can actually access the audio through a QR code um, that takes you to the audio, which is um, about an hour to two hours long. Um, it's quite relaxing, um, but you don't actually have to listen to the audio or the music that's provided when you build this. I built mine watching The Rise of Skywalker because I built the Sith. Um, being a Star Wars fan, but I mean, you could be a Beatles fan, maybe you build the Beatles. So this is different. This is what the box looks like. There's about over 3,000 pieces in each of these sets. From this set you can build Kylo Ren, Darth Maul or Darth Vader. Um, you can have all three of these, which is absolutely incredible. You can actually build a life of like a 120 centimeters by 40 centimeters um, of Darth Vader with incredible detail. Um, now these are very different in terms of building, in terms of your three-dimensional builds. In these ones, it's 2D, it studs, it's very methodic, and in that case, very relaxing. Each in each image, there are nine tiles made up of 16 by 16 studs. Um, as you build each tile. I mean, essentially, it looks a little bit like dots. You don't necessarily see the full image, which is actually gives it some kind of magic as you start to put it together and you start to see this image appear. Um, and you sort of realize how much color is involved in what we see. Um, so I'll, what I'll take out here is the actual instructions. So the Lego art is very much Lego by numbers. And so I'll show you what I mean by that in the, in the book. So here you've got your numbers. For each colour. Easy way to build is you can put it into little tubs um, in the order in which they are. Um, each one, each colour for each, its own tub and then it's literally just place them by a number. Now you can do this lots of ways. Um, I experimented a few different ways of doing it. Um, so you could do it methodically row by row or column by column. The other way would be to do it um, in order numerical order so filling all the ones first then all the twos then all the threes then all the fours um, and in this way it's sort of it's very interesting the way the the image comes to life um, in, in, in a different way so you have that sort of scanning process which is what typically your old TVs used to do versus patches coming together as you do the number as the number order so it's enough of the instructions. This actually has the instructions for all three, um, but to access the, the one where you need, you need three of these, by the way, in order to do one of each or at, at the same time, or you'd need three of them to do the big dark Vader. So I'm gonna actually show you the result. Um, this one, so this is the back of it. They've got some new pieces, which is these boards, but also actually has spaces so you can actually hang it up. So I don't know if you can see that there. That allows you to actually hang it like a picture on the wall. I don't have any hooks set up, so I can't actually show you that. But I'll just show you. This is Kylo Ren, which is who I decided to do because when I built it, I watched Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker. Because what better way to enjoy a Star Wars Lego build than actually immersing yourself in the uh, in some of the the films that, that that actually inspired this work? So this is Kylo Ren. But perhaps you're not a Star Wars fan. So I'm not the only one who's built a Lego art piece. Uh, Susie. One of our team members has also built a Lego art. This one might be a little bit more popular or perhaps a little bit more iconic. Um, we all know the inventors of pop were the Beatles or perhaps you didn't know that, fun fact. Um, again, that looks exactly the same, all right? But here we have John Lennon. Now these are both different in the sense that 
the John Lennon one or the Beatles ones that uses tiles, whereas the Star Wars ones uses studs, so it has a, a different texture as you feel it. Um, really, if you come close to them, it really is just a set of dots, and we'll show you some close-ups of that. Um, but as you get further and further away, the picture really does come to life, just as um, I guess you're talking about resolution um, for a dot, same as in like a Photoshop if you're familiar. Um, the special thing about this is that he, you could just buy one set and you could, if John's your favourite Beatle, build, build John. If George is, build George. Like Ringo, build Ringo. Or if you want the full set, you're going to have to get four of these because it just will look fabulous to have all four Beatles in a row um, or in the, in, the, in the quad. And like I said with the, the Star Wars one, you really need to get that three because if you can imagine three of these stacked on top of each other and actually having a, a, a portrait of Darth Vader, who's very iconic if you're a Star Wars fan. So I highly recommend these. They're definitely different build to anything that Lego have done before. Um, very much craft meets Lego. So I think a broader audience, so people that may appreciate Lego but haven't felt that the 3D models are really for them and they're far more a colour in book type person for relaxation, I think this might be something you might want to give a try. Um, I know that some of the some people that's the first Lego set they've actually ever built. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Definitely promotes mindfulness in the sense that it's very methodic, um, you're doing stud by stud, and it gives you a focus in, in a very, very different way. Uh, it forces you to slow down. Um, you cannot build as quickly as you do with your general building blocks. That's simply because the studs are quite small. So if you try and build them fast, it's easy for them to flip in your hand, which means when you go to put them down, they're not actually going to stick because they're upside down now or on their side. So you actually have to concentrate and place them individually. Um, and I think that is actually really part of the point of it. Okay, so I look, I highly recommend grabbing one of these. I highly recommend if you can grabbing more than one uh, of them because they're just, they're nice in their own, but they're fantastic. And I am so excited to get a couple more of these because I really want to build the Darth Vader. Um, and I really would like to also complete the, the Beatles set because just wouldn't that look fantastic on the wall. Okay, everybody, this is KJ from Metro Hobbies. Stay safe um, and happy building.